We are beginning hot here. We are in turn 46 and we already have something to do. Usually I don't leave like a half finished turn, but this time I did. We have two armies here and these dumb shits have just decided to sit there. I cannot fathom a single reason why they would do that. They're probably going to back off. That's fine. We chase it down. I think we still win it. We might even still auto resolve it because that is literally just a stack of red crested skinks. I feel pretty comfortable with that auto resolve right there. I expect we'll have one or two cool battles against the lizard boys, but this is probably not going to be that. Oh, not bad at all. That's very realistic, I think. Of course. Of course. Every turn. They just, they, they print them. They have a fucking Skaven printer in there. I don't care what they recruit. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Regardless, we probably ought to resolve that with both of these armies here. Unfortunately, we can't form up these guys. That would be nice, but I don't think sewing half of two separate Bastilladons together is going to be the most viable strategy here. So, merging up units, not really an option. That is just Skaven Slaves. Why do they keep coming down and then going back up? I don't understand that bit. You don't have territory that way. Why are you just going over there? Look, he's, he's just hiding in the trees for no reason. Uh, that's great because I have no magic right now. Thanks. Thanks, Winds of Magic. That is great. You can't reach that. Okay. Because this is a decisive victory, low casualties, auto resolve, without this guy reinforcing, I'm not going to have him reinforce. I'm going to accept that auto resolve. And you, hmm, I could attack that straight up. But these guys actually like my current war? What the fuck? I thought they would absolutely hate me killing Zlatan. Oh, that opens up a new option. I don't need to kill these guys then. I might be able to just ally with them, confederate them, and then immediately go after the Bone Boys. I was not initially planning on that because I do want their territory long term, but I think confederation is going to be a more viable strategy. Now, I don't really care to be at war with you guys anymore. And now I can go against these guys. I have an actual enemy that I benefit from killing. I haven't had one of those for a very long while, so that is very good. Uh, we're gonna start by doing your missions. This should be pretty easy. I don't remember exactly what the battle is. Uh, oh, we actually do have a time limit. All right, we're just gonna fucking charge him then. <laughs> we're not even gonna slow down for all of the uh, enemies here. Oh, fuck, that's a lot of damage. Holy shit, we actually do have to deal with that. I thought we were just gonna tank that, but no. Okay, Krokgar, it is Lord Sniping time, if possible. Oh, fuck, those Cold One Nights are gonna hurt. As long as the Dreadlord dies, we're all good. So we don't really need to worry about the rest of them, especially when they left their entire fucking army behind here for some reason. <laughs> yeah, Krokgar is going to be eating that Dreadlord. <laughs> oh my god, the, uh, the raptor's tail knocked him over, it was beautiful. The main army finally is advancing, it's a bit late for that. Okay, that army's gone, the Dreadlord- oh! <laughs> They're all gone, they all routed as soon as the Dreadlord was defeated, and the Dreadlord ran up in front of their army, so... No problem! That was embarrassing. <laughs> Now we are on Krokgar's special mount. I could do the next quest, but I want to save up my health for that. I don't want to get too hurt. I know there are Skaven afoot, or underfoot, or just a ground. I don't know. There's fucking Skaven everywhere, man. We encircle, and then we attack. Uh, they do have a few super high tier units in here, but most of them seem to be anti-infantry. Yeah, that is quite a significant amount of healing. It's something like 10% per use, and each of the revivification crystals does have seven uses. Okay, I think that's all the healing we need. That was very effective. Okay, just bait Cetra out a little bit away from those spears. That one guy charged him way out of the group. This is overall a really good situation. For some reason, they didn't counter charge me. <laughs> if they did, they would have done way better. Uh, but the Necropolis Knights here, they just sat there while I charged them. We're going to just use all of these guys, except the one we already used at once, because I don't have the energy to micro them, as well as focusing on what really matters over here, because killing Cetra is going to be huge for us. Ooh, I really hope our Lord doesn't die there. That would suck so bad. Please don't die. One more hit, he's dead. One more hit, he's dead. We heal you up. Okay, that's great. Don't run off the battlefield. Go towards the healing. Can you use this on yourself? You actually can. Cool. And then we'll move him towards our other healing guy, too, because he is probably our highest value target for healing. And with the balance of power where it is here, it's it's a guaranteed win. It's a matter of time. Which I don't know if we took more or less damage than we would in auto-resolve. I'm not sure. I'd like to think that we took less, but I, I don't have any evidence for that. There's only a couple units that'll take more than one turn of healing, so we, we didn't do too bad. How much are you willing to offer for that? Oh my god! 15,000 gold and a military alliance if I wanted, which I don't. I think if we do this, the long-term prospects of us confederating them are pretty good. 
Oh, we can get the uh, solar engines. We can get quite a few different units here. I am a little afraid of these guys still because I don't see armies anywhere that I can see here. So I assume they have a small number of armies or their armies are just stacked on top of each other. And either way, that means they have a concentrated force of power that could probably wipe out one of my armies. Minus 62 going to minus 26. You are eventually going to declare war on me again. I could wipe them out if they declare war on me again in five turns. Like once I have these guys, not destroyed, but subdued. Uh, I could definitely deal with these lads. All right, well, we're going to take this. I'll just auto-resolve that with that one army, because they'll be the ones in the settlement, so they'll get most of the replenishment. Ooh, okay, well, there's the rest of their balance of power. Luckily, they can't reach me yet. And they've also left themselves in Force March right there. What? Why? 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 That is not the first time that they've just left a fucking army in Force March right in front of me. You're declaring war on me. Oh, no, not yet. Not yet. Oh, minus 74 for getting that back. Yeah. <laughs> I do believe that I am in the book. Uh, we have a garrison here. We should be fine to leave this for a little bit. If they do attack it, the uh, Skaven, they'll probably encircle it for a little while. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. I think I'm going to start building up another army right here now. It does really take us like nearly 10 turns to have a proper full army. Oh no, I can't. I'm very close, but I can't quite reach that. Uh, so I am glad I have something to kill here, but also I... Come on, man. Close victory, medium casualties. Once again, I could take this, but I don't think I need to, and I think I do save a little bit of HP by fighting it manually. Come on, look at the direction he's supposed to move. Look at the direction he is moving. He just cannot get off of that Stegodon. <laughs> the Bastilodons are just harassing the Stegodons. We need HR. We need dinosaur HR. <laughs> this is harassment. Why? Why are they all doing this? They're all doing this. Oh, you little fuckers. And we are actually getting attacked somewhere. Oh my god. Holy shit, that is so much damage so quickly. I did not think they were that far up. Yeah, whenever there's two stacks of dinos on the battlefield, that that does lag my PC quite a bit. This is a good fight, though. We are doing well. There's, there's a lot of just gigantic creatures on both sides, but I think ours are doing better. Let's see that. Oh, that was nice. That was awesome. <laughs> the Tomb Scorpion just got absolutely blasted in the side. I think they're going to go down. I think their Lord's going down here, and as soon as their Lord goes down, they are dead. The Bastilodon stuck on the chariot. How does this happen? That's the same thing that happened with the Carnosaur last episode. That is the most ridiculous thing ever. I wish we could heal up at the end, but we can't. Uh, that was still good. That was still probably about as good as auto resolve. We can heal up after that. We, we should be able to be fine force marching there because, yeah, they don't have much left in terms of their balance of power. And, ooh, we got a regiment of renown that we could use. Uh, we could go for the Kawadal. Ooh, Earthblood, that is good, but only two uses is really not that good. I do think this is a dinosaur, though. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think it is. Where did that army come from? I did not see that before. Okay, rank two lore, definitely no lightning strike. They will be fighting both of my armies. How is that a crushing defeat auto-resolve? I do not see that. I don't think that's accurate. We'll see where their reinforcement location is. That'll affect how we fight this, but I'm actually pretty confident here, especially with the Kawadal. All right, we're all moving in here. Oh, wait, this only hits four units now. Oh, I forgot about the change. Oh, shit. We're, we're basically just zerging whatever we can, whatever comes into our range here. Okay, all their fast units are coming up here. <laughs> shit, we have to deal with these stalkers, the sepulchral stalkers. Okay, we have to stop them. Go there. Stop them. Stop them firing. Don't let them use their ammo. These guys, the sepulchral stalkers, they are very, very effective anti-large units. They have AP missiles and anti-large uh, melee attacks. Oh god, we're going to be taking a lot of damage in this early engagement. Okay, you're running away. I'm, I'm going to let them route. Any units that want to route will be able to route here. I'm just going to let them. You kill that if possible. Where's their lord at? Where's their lord at? Uh, he's just in melee there. I can't really deal with that very well. Okay, you guys are all going to charge in here to this main blob. I do believe the balance of power is getting better. Okay, you need to kill him. You need to kill him, please. Looking good. You guys keep backing out. Balance of power is going up. It is now decidedly in our favor. Please kill him. You guys got to push in there. And it looks like they're done. It looks like they're done. I hope I didn't lose any big boys. Oh my god, I didn't lose any. Holy shit. Wow. I thought I lost maybe two or three there. That has more value than anything on my side. Holy shit. 3643. That's crazy. If you declare war on me, I'm going to be pissed. You motherfucker. They broke through the non-aggression pact. Oh, come on. Uh, and he went the other way, so I couldn't actually do anything with Krokgar. That sucks. They do have another army there. If I could wipe him out in one turn, that would be great. If Krokgar can reach that, that's incredible. You already have a full army, but I can swap out the lowest level Bastilodon, rank 2. 
and I can grab the Pale Death. Quite an interesting ROR here. Nearly a thousand missile strength, which is ridiculous on top of the anti-large there. Primeval Roar. Ooh, that's good. The problem is Thoric is going to come back with a vengeance after I do this. Yeah, the Pale Death will be super good for dealing with the Gyrocopter. I think we'll fight this manually. I could use the water to my advantage for sure. Oh, that's big damage. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. My god, this guy's a sniper. That's crazy. Absolutely love this lad. Never really used him before, but holy shit. Victory is on our grasp. That's good. We haven't taken much damage so far, so. All right, nice. I think if I take this, it's too easy for them to attack me again. I think I sack this. We could take both of these, technically. Oh, they have no balance of power. I think we take both of these. We might need the cheese a little bit, but we do win this. And I will attack this first, probably, because I think this will be easier. Every single one of their units is not only, like, on a control point or something over here. They're just doing nothing against the wall there. The synced animations there. Oh, my God. Oh, they both ate him at the same time. That was so cool. Ah, uh, they moved from the cut corner. They moved out of the corner. The AI is now activated. They're doing AI things. Ah, that's sad. Not much damage at all. Here, though, this should be a pretty easy cheese. I, I could win this straight up, but it would be damn close. Oh, you're in the wall. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no, he's in the wall. Please come out of the wall. And he's out of the wall. Okay. <laughs> Gonna be moving here. They didn't let me through as easily as I thought they would. Oh, no. Are we stuck on the chariot again? We're stuck on the chariot again. We're stuck on the chariot. The hitboxes for these chariots are fucked. And they're done. Extreme cheese. No real thought or effort, but we want it. Fine. Two settlements, one turn, and we have the unique building here. That is awesome. Oh, the recruitment duration reduction. That is going to be so good once we rank this up. I really want to rank this up ASAP. Okay, that's what I wanted. That's good. I could offer to declare war against these lads. Okay, so if I join the war against the followers of Nagash, who are somewhere here, and get peace with Cetra... That allows me to push into the dwarves with these two armies as soon as they heal up. Getting rid of these guys permanently is super valuable. The other problem is if I take this territory, Scarbrand will declare war on me. I think. I mean, it's it's likely enough that I'm not willing to risk it, at least. We could just wipe out this small army and maybe catch them coming into the battlefield. Ooh, that could be good. If we can wall camp him, he will still do well, don't get me wrong. But he won't do nearly as well, specifically because of our arcs of Sotek having like 100% efficiency there. Don't love this terrain. Not a big fan of the trees here, but honestly, it's still way more advantageous than an open field battle, I think. I'm not going to be able to see shit in this battle. Lighting is terrible here. Charge right away. Oh, those slayers came in first. That sucks. Uh, you go after Thoric. You go after Thoric. I need to pause to find Thoric. I can't fucking see anything. Where is Thoric? There is Thoric. And this was overall a very effective tactic, I think. What the fuck is that? Oh, the Ark of Sotek. <laughs> My god, that scared the shit out of me. 19. Okay, if we could just get this second use off, I think that'll kill a lot of them. Can't say that much is visible here, but what is is pretty good. 24 more melee attack on them for 31 seconds. That's huge. Kill Thoric. Kill Thoric and get that temporary big-ass leadership debuff. No, you can't be routing. You can't be routing now. Now is not the time to route. If you kill Thoric, they route. Okay, Thoric is dead. Thoric is wounded. That will tank their leadership. You can use this ability again. That's great. Uh, the gyrocopters are just going in circles. I don't know what they're doing. I they, They're just bugging out because we started right on the edge. Yeah, they, they must be the majority of their balance of power now. We've taken a lot of damage here. We've taken a lot of damage. I will admit that, but I will not admit defeat. I believe we are going to win this. Are there more Slayers here still? There's, a, there's two Slayers left. There's two Slayers left. Okay. Don't rout and we're good. They're still not using the Brimstone guns for some reason. They're still not using them. <laughs> Massive damage on those gyrocopters. I think he's hitting multiple with each shot. Oh yeah, it looks like he's hitting two or three of them with each shot here. Let, let's see this from close up. Oh, that's massive. It's killing like three per shot because they're just all in one space. Holy shit, the amount of value that's getting. Oh, that's actually turned a balance of power in our favor here. That was ridiculous. The good thing is the majority of them fought to the death. Yeah, and you're not going to get to heal. We got to we gotta finish this off and we got to do it manually. Try and shoot them. I don't know if we'll actually be able to hit them with the solar engine. Oh, we did. That was awesome. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And they're done. You are not going to pose any threat. He might encircle this. If he does, that's just a dick move, but it ultimately won't stop me from doing what I need to do here. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Just a little raptor inside of the Carnosaur. 
Uh, we will go for the control points, but we'll also fight them because there's too many of them for us to actually get the control points without fighting them. Oh, God. Oh, that is so unnatural. What the fuck is that? He's, he's just standing up on his back legs with his tail between them. Oh, man. That is grotesque. That is grotesque. Get over here. Get over here. Oh. <laughs> ah, shit. Too much damage over here. You know, we can just back off here. We're, we can just back off here. We've distracted them for more than long enough. Hopefully, they're not going to get too stuck in here. And we might... Ooh, we might lose that Arcosotec. I think that Arcosotec's dead. That's very unfortunate. Two health and... Oh, uh, poor guy. Poor guy just died. And our Lord is doing a very good job of holding them back, too, because he isn't too large in terms of his hitbox. And we won that. Oh, God. It really does hurt to lose the Arc of Sotek. We grab this, though, and we just keep moving on. And, ooh, we have this guy now. That'll be cool. I'm going to grab this guy because we don't have any anti-large in this army other than our lord, so I think that's a good, good pickup. Epicentrist, not the best, certainly, but acceptable. This should probably be an auto-resolve. I might move this guy back down there just in case we uh, get attacked there because I don't think we need him here. I'm going to wipe this out thoroughly, and then after I do that, I will just take that settlement. He survived that? He survived that attack with 7 HP. Are you kidding me? Okay, he's dead now. There we go. That should be enough. They're done. Uh, we are going to chase them down here because they will survive if we don't this time. Uh, we are faster than them across the board because one, they're dwarves. Two, we're not dwarves. <laughs> so that's, that's a pretty simple equation. And we can't reach the settlement and there's two units here and we do auto resolve that with no losses. So I'll take that. Where I do want to expand next is down into here. I want to expand into these guys. Take this. Move up here. I want to take all this territory. It's all good here. Oh, you want peace again? Ah, uh, no. I don't think so, you little shit. If you declare war on me, that's annoying. That would be realistic, but I it would be annoying. Okay. Very straightforward turn. We move you here, and then next turn we can reach that. Uh, we move you here, and then we just destroy this. Probably an auto-resolve, because this should not be hard. This is ours now. Awesome. That's a very interesting army here. <laughs> Grail Knights fighting next to Blood Knights. I've never seen that before. Horse marching. If I could reach you... That's great. I don't know if I can there. 1% movement range remaining, I can reach that. They don't have much anti-large. The halberds there are dangerous for me, for sure. Uh, but the rest of their army is not. That's more halberds than I thought they had. I only saw one unit of them. That horse looks comically small. It looks smaller than my actual lord, let alone the Carnosaur. Oh my god, that, that has to be wrong. The scaling cannot be correct there. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Oh, that was a strike right there. Beautiful. Okay, they're moving up now. Uh, their formation is very weird here. If I knew what they were trying to do, I would know better how to counter it. <laughs> uh, all of you charge them because they're just walking up separate from the rest of them. And you might be able to go after their Arch Lector because he is... Oh, he is mounted, so that'll be good because you have bonus versus large. Okay. Okay, charge those crossbows. And their Lord is going down really nicely. That's great. You're trading not as well as I'd like there, but you're fine. Chase those halberds down to the absolute last. They'll come back to bite you in the ass. Or at least stab you in the ass. With their, you know, halberds. <laughs> your lord is dead. Please stop fighting. Okay, go in there. Go in there. Yes, use that ability. That is the army losses right there. 19 out of 19. We did not lose one. We got very close with a few of them. But holy shit. Killing their lord early, that was huge. I don't know what they were doing with their formation. I did kind of surround them, or at least threaten to. So I do understand why the AI would do that. But yeah, overall, very good for me though. Good to have that army out of the way. Hopefully that was one of their better ones. If it wasn't, then I might be a little fucked. I could go after the Skaven. Do I want to do that? That's a good question. Um, these guys are pretty friendly. So what I might be able to do here is push up using Krokgar and Melk Mac Maclagor. I'm just going to call them Maclamore. Uh, using Krokgar and Maclamore, I could push up here and sell these guys' territory to this lad. Probably I'll wipe this out first, just in case, to make sure it's not going to be a threat. And we just keep making armies here, we keep sending them in here, and eventually we wipe all this out, and we confederate these guys, and we get that victory. That is the plan. We now have a plan. We did not have a solid plan before. And there's an immediate issue with the plan. <laughs> he's not bordering me, though. He's not bordering me. And that probably means that he's not going to immediately attack me. Sometimes they go through neutral territory, but that's generally not very common. Balance of power is still pretty sus there. I don't love that, but I, I'm confident we win it. And I'm also confident they will eventually attack me if I just leave them there. Wow, that is a Valiant Defeat Auto Resolve. They're all anti-large is the problem. That's, that's the real issue we have here. 
All right, you lads just go in. These little guys served as a very effective distraction, basically just stopping them from getting any good charges on us and keeping them in one place so that we could charge them with our dinosaurs. They also made quite a nice snack after the battle, although it wasn't quite as enjoyable as eating them while they're alive. Okay, if we could counter charge those blood knights or maybe even just go straight for their lord, that might make sense too. Now the troglodon, I tried to have him just come over here, shoot this blob while they were stationary. Unfortunately, after he shot them, they stopped being stationary, they charged him. Oh, that was really nice, just knocking this guy on his ass. Let's see this from uh, this perspective. We only got like two, three shots off, but oh, they really knocked out like three or four of their models each shot. Worst possible situation here for this guy. Fuck. I'll just let him route. I'll just let him route. That's fine. Uh, when we do blob up on them, we seem to be killing them quite easily, actually, which is... Not what I expected. I thought that would be harder. I think the mass difference in our advantage is big because most of the uh, cavalry in the game rely very heavily on, well, charging, which is kind of what they do. That's the whole thing. Their charges rely a lot on their mass for actually, like, knocking units over, uh, disrupting formations, stuff like that. That is just not going to be effective against us at all. Yeah, I mean, their charges here, they just stop. They just stop against the side of a Bastilodon. They're incapable of damaging them, really. Even though they have AP, they're just not doing that much damage. And then we slowly grind them down very, very effectively. I mean, this guy got charged by like 20 models. Still completely fine. Eat their lord, eat their lord, kill him, destroy their leadership. Okay, Blood Knight's gone, it looks like. Victory's in our grasp. That is surprising, but also not as surprising once you look at the battlefield. Most of them are dead already. They've done so badly here. Oh, this charge here is going to be nice. Into the Blood Knights and the Grail Guardians. That's, this is a rare matchup right here. 95 kills, 4,100 value on Krokgar. That is bananas. I think he did a lot of our overall value. Yeah, most of these guys did not actually get that many kills. I think Krokgar hard carried there. The Arcs of Sotek actually did well too. They got 1,000 value. I will chase them down just to be safe, because rogue armies sometimes can recruit really quick. What? You are shitting me. You are shitting me. These units were three quarters dead. Oh my god, I should not have auto-resolved that. I was like, no shot. Oh, Teclis, why are you doing this to me, man? Why? Why? We were so friendly. He's in no wars. He wants war against me, probably. One turn recruitment for the Ancient Salamander. I think we're just gonna doom stack to the extent that we can the Ancient Salamanders. We're just gonna have a full fucking army of them. We're gonna definitely get that short victory next episode, no problem, that will not be very far off. That'll probably be, you know, five, six turns off from now. I mean, I'm probably not gonna go for the long victory because this condition does suck. I really hate this uh, long victory condition. Every part of it is just bad. Uh, but I will probably be going for like 40-ish settlements. And I think next episode might be the last one. It probably will. If I could get everything all the way out to here, that would be great, that would be ideal. I don't know if that will be possible, but I would like to, and I would also like to beat the Skaven into submission, and maybe even kill Scarbrand if I absolutely have to. I, I would rather not deal with him at all, honestly. As always, check out the Dumbland Discord, and big thanks to my patrons and YouTube members. Yeah, uh, that's all for now. Peace out.